All right, guys, today we are back again with another David King video, and as luck would have it, um, I forget what it's called, the Auric Shrine or something like that, the Shrine of Secrets. Uh, one of the weekly perks in there is one that I was considering strongly in my David King build, because uh, I thought it might give me some survivability potential, and that is the Kate Denson perk, Boil Over. Now, I do not have Kate unlocked yet. I'm not sure I've actually ever played her, or if I do, I certainly don't have her prestiged. But if you have the points, the Iridescent Shards, you can tier it up as much as you want to go. So I just tiered it up to tier 3, because this is a very strong perk pretty much on anybody. But I think it's one that could perhaps give a bit more survivability to this high-risk, high-reward David King build. So I popped on Boil Over, which uh, effectively... My struggling effects on the killer at tier 3 get increased by 80%, and it also blocks the killer's ability to see hook auras as they're trying to get me to the hook within 16 meters. And if I uh, am in their grasp, say, on a second floor, the top of a rock or something, and they drop with me in hand, then 33% of my current wiggle progress... Uh, will be gained immediately. So this is a pretty interesting perk. I'm going to keep Resilience just for a little extra speed working the gens since I'm going to be damaged the whole time because of no mither. And we're still going to keep Tenacity. Now, there's another couple potential perks I was thinking might work well with this. Um, it would be great to have this up to Tier 3 so that my grunts were decreased to 75 like it is on Tier 3 Iron Will. But since that would be built into no mither, I don't really want to overstack. So I'm going to try to just give myself a little extra speed uh, on repairs with this and just hop in again with this rather silly high-risk, high-reward build and just see how big of a difference, if any at all, Boil Over makes. So we're going to hop right in. Okay, one of the big auto wrecker maps. These are always potentially nice. I'm going to try to just jump straight on a gin here. Pray that the killer doesn't decide to check this one out right out of the gate. What up, Yui? Oh, lady. I'm not even playing that game. In case that's the killer, I'm getting the hell out of here. Nope, it's on Rio. I see her. She's teleporting over there. I'd love to get back on that gen. Nope, nope, I still see her. Why's she trolling this gin so hard? What's so special about that one? I don't know. I'm gonna try to crouch, slowly make my way back over. I really don't like having to face the Onryo. She's so strong. You know, as I'm sitting here looking at this gen, I'm thinking Saboteur might be a really great perk to replace Resilience. The speed boost is nice, but being able to break a hook that's immediately next to the gen I'm working could be extraordinarily useful. I don't know. I'll play around with it. There's a lot of options for this build. It's an interesting and sketchy build, but I do think it's fun to play and to try out. If nothing else, it's fun to play and try out. Hopefully I can finish this gen off without the own Rio quickly getting back over here. She's got Merciless Storm. There it is. Luckily, I caught that first one when it popped. I normally do pretty, pretty well at hitting it. Try to get in position. Somewhat. Let's 
go save our buddy. <coughs> Come here, Yui. They're all being relatively smart and in region to try to help one another. I don't want to let her see me popping right back on this gen, but that's exactly what I'm going to do. What happens in situations like this is nobody has even a remote chance of getting out alive because they're focused on hanging out by the hooks, which you kind of need to do, but you have, you have a little time. So keep that time that you have bought. Do your best. But we have to go for it. Obviously, she's going to come straight back over here. Nope. No, you don't. Get out of here. Get out of here, lady. Fine. <clears throat> if you let me crawl off, it's on you. Don't worry about it. Go for the save. I don't want to get myself up quite yet. She's too close. Okay. Now we're the hell out of dodge. She's nearby, but I have to I have to save my buddy. I don't have to, but it's foolhardy to not. Let's leave it at that. If she's going to down me, she's going to down me away from a hook. That's my theory. Where did that happen? Right over there. Okay, where's her closest hook? Is she gonna shack it? Oh god, if she gets them, they're dead on hook. Oh god, she's got another down. Please don't, don't worry about me, please. I beg of you, please. Don't do it. Don't do it. Just keep running. Let me save myself. I know what I'm doing. crawl back into this tall grass. No, no, no! Get out of here! Get out of here! Oh, don't! God! See, dude, if I needed you to run over here to save me... My God. He drew her attention straight to me, and now I'm going to be down in the basement on the hook. That's a problem. See, I had it, man. I had it. I mean, I understand why you did what you did. A for effort. And we get out. Somehow. Barely. Yeah, she's going to be mad about that. That dude had not run straight over to me and drawn her straight to me. I would be back up on my feet saving them right now. Man, 
I don't really blame them, but it's just frustrating. Obviously, it's a solo survivor queue. They don't know that what perk I'm rolling, but if any of them had been paying attention, they would have known they didn't res me, so obviously I can res myself. Uh, this is where Deliverance would come in hand as well. They just hosed us. Well, I guess I have to. No choice. So what I need to do is run the hell out of there to the opposite side of the map. It's Operation Save Yourself time now, guys. If I run back over there, I'm dead. There's no sense in us all being guaranteed death. There's always a potential of saving oneself. Potential! Not saying that I will. Just saying that there's the potential that it could happen. Come on, come on. Where's that hatch? Unbelievable. Unbelievable! Oh, wow, guys. Wow, wow, wow. Sometimes you get lucky. <laughs> Sometimes you just get lucky. Oh, man, that was so clutch. That was so clutch. I do feel a little bad about my other survivors dying on hook, but if I had gone over to try to save them, I died too. There's nothing you can do about it. May as well let one of us get out and get the extra points. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm still thinking maybe Resilience is not the right perk. I think that I can make this build a little bit more powerful. Sacrifice a little speed. Yes, I'm running around. I can get the constant boost because I'm constantly injured with this crazy build. But I think there may be some other perk. I don't know what it is. But some other perk that might put this over the top to make it more useful. Um... You know, then it already is in the clutch situations. You know, if they're going to grab you and take you to the hook immediately after downing, it's going to happen anyway. But if they're slugging, you get multiple opportunities, unless they remember or figure it out, to get yourself back up on your feet. And that is the value of no mether, particularly paired with tenacity, because you can get out of there quicker and it's harder to find you. So, yeah, yeah. Still very high risk, very high reward. It's a fun build to run, guys. I'm not sure it's one I would recommend unless you don't mind constantly feeling like you're uh, skating on the razor's edge every match that you're trying to play. But it's fun regardless. I appreciate you checking in, guys. We will catch you on the next one.